What is up guys, Young Flame here, bringing you another awesome video of a gift card to friends glitch. Um, this one's just a little bit different than the first one, but uh, you know, just a couple minor fixes, you know, because it doesn't work. <laughs> wow, Simeon's giving me a vehicle thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to the customs right now, buddy. Anyways, though, what we're going to need for this glitch is a facility, a friend with a cargo bob, uh, a street car and just the car you want to dupe or trade if you're doing modded cars or just you can use this as a money glitch uh, one other way you could use this is if you're trying to replace like let's say you already have a modded uh, wastelander in your in your bunker well facility if you have like say you have a modded wastelander in your facility right but you have a stock purchased wastelander in your special vehicle warehouse and you'd like to switch the two that'll work um, so yeah, you could just do that for the video. I mean, for the glitch. All right. Anyways, to start this glitch off, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have a street vehicle. It can't be a high-end one or anything. Just you know, like a, like this one I'm driving or something that you can take into your facility. Uh, your facility is gonna need to be full, and you're gonna have your friend in the cargo bob. Uh, and once you get this black screen that says it's full, you're gonna have him pick you up and drive you away. Now, when he drives you away far enough. Um, your the facility fool will go away, so just don't press anything yet. Just wait for him to drive you away. Alright, All right, now you can drop me now. Alright, yeah, drop me here. Alright, so after that, just have him drop you in the cargo bog now that the screen's gone. You're just gonna drive back over to your facility and get another full alert screen now when alright now I'll show you now you need to pick me up again now that you have the second alert screen he's gonna pick you up again and he doesn't have to take you that far he just has to take you far enough to where it won't suck you into your facility so I'll show you like he'll just drop me off over you know just a little bit you'll see where he drops me off at alright am I good? Okay. So as you see, he, he dropped me off like over here. It's not, not anywhere too far, but you know, like this far of a distance away from your facility. Because if you're too close or anything, it'll kick you out the car. So just to be safe, drop like around there. Um, this works for any facility, but I recommend Ron, Ron uh, Windmill Farm or whatever it's called facility, the one I'm at. But yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to get uh, your vehicle. Now, if you're replacing you know one of your special vehicles you do this step if not like let's say you're just duping your friends like car and you're doing like car for car doing a money glitch what you do is you'll just drive right into the facility and you won't do any of this you'll just drive in and then so basically just skip this step if you're just getting a regular one but if you are uh, doing this special vehicle swap then you're gonna have him get on the blazer and park it in front of the yellow circle but if you're just duping, like trading cars with somebody and not doing the special vehicle, it's the same thing. You just cut out calling in the special vehicle step because that's not necessary. Um, what you'll do is after you do the second part where it drops you away, but not too far, or, you know, get what I'm saying, the second cargo bob screen glitch. What you do from there is, um, you know, you'll just drive right into your facility like I did now. You just won't call anything up. Now, when it finally loads you into your facility, you're going to deny all the messages. So, it'll say, do you want to swap a car? Just be like, uh, no, no, I don't want to, oh, wait, no. If you, oh, no, yeah, at this part, you do want to cancel it because you're not getting anything. So, my boy said that it's ready, uh, the Wastelander. So, yeah, I did do that, right? If you would, if you would have swapped it there, I would have got a street car in the spot, and that would have been very bad. So, yeah definitely deny it there and just start spamming triangle like before when you come out and as you see I have my regular blazer aqua here since this is a special vehicle it won't go in so you just park it at the middle with a run ramp thingy and then it'll despawn and then go in here and like I said though if this was a regular vehicle if it's not a special vehicle you could just back up and drive right in 
because it'll just take you in. If, if it is a special vehicle, do the same step I did there with your friend's special vehicle if you're doing it like that. Because it, it'll say you can't enter the facility. So you're just going to walk in on foot if it's like a special vehicle or like a Chernobog or anything like that. Um, so yeah. So now that I'm in here with the Blazer Aqua, I just... Uh, I'm going to replace it for this modded Blazer Aqua. This is how you do the the swap um, glitch. So now my modded ones in my special house and my regular ones there. Now I'm going to try explaining this a little bit better. All right. Because most of you are probably going to want to do this as a money glitch or a trade cars to friends glitch. So yeah, I definitely uh, want to explain it better so you're not like, man, I totally missed like that part. So you can't use your own cargo bob because if you use your own cargo bob, you'll have a vehicle out. For some reason, this glitch doesn't work when you have another personal vehicle out. So no, none of your Pegasus or personal vehicles or anything can be out at the moment. Um, but yeah. So here's the way it works. So your friend's going to get his cargo bob and bring it over. You or him or whoever just needs to bring up a street car for you to get into. Once you're in a street car, you get the first alert message. And you have your friend pick you up with the cargo bob and drive you. And he'll just keep driving you until the message just totally disappears off your screen. It'll do it by itself. You won't do anything. It'll just eventually just go away. Then you have him drop you. And you could either drive back or, you know, just have him drop you somewhere. He'll drive back and get the second message. It'll say, are you sure you want to, you know, do you want to swap a vehicle? From there, you'll see, um, you know, that it'll ask you that. And then you're going to have him pick you up again and drop you like... You know, you saw not all the way because you don't want the message to disappear again, but you know, just a decent distance away, you know, just so it doesn't suck you in the car or, any, or in the facility. Um, and yeah, so you'll have him do that once he drops you and you think you're good, you'll press X and accept that message, and then you just drive the street car into the facility once it loads you in because it'll just suck you right in that time. And then once you're inside the facility, you'll deny all the messages and swap the vehicles out. And then you'll go to the yellow circle in here, and his car is going to be parked at the top yellow circle, like at the front of your facility. And when you exit the facility, you just start spamming triangle, spamming it. And then um, once you get out there, you'll see his car is going to be parked there. But while you're spamming triangle, you'll realize, like at the time, that you'll get a, are you for sure you want to swap out vehicles? You wait till you hear yourself start up the car, and then you click X on that and just drive it in. Now, in case you're doing a special vehicle from him, you're just going to drive it to the middle of the pad here, like I did with my personal Aqua, but it obviously will be his modded one or whatever. You'll just drive it to the middle and walk it on foot. Um, that's the best way I could explain to you. I mean, it's all the same, basically. The only difference between what I did in the video and what I'm telling you is that you don't have to call up your special vehicle from your warehouse and uh, have your friend park it there and then drive in. That, that's really the only step that I went. You know what I mean? And that's just a small step. Just like I said, cut out that step and everything will be good. Um, one thing I would like to say is this glitch is probably going to get patched Monday or Tuesday. One of the two. So definitely I hope I get a good bit of views on it before then. Just that way you know, you guys can do that. I'm trying to be a good glitch channel. Um, I realized that the videos I was making about, you know certain stuff just wasn't working so I'm trying to go more to glitches maybe to you know try to get more views and stuff you know just because I feel like that's what the people want you can't just make random videos you got to kind of give the people what they want so uh so yeah I mean more gift cards to friends glitches are definitely going to be coming out you know when new ones get come out and this one gets passed I'll try my best to find some and uh I'm gonna maybe try doing some outfit glitches you know uh, I'll try my best to find some of them. Just any glitches, really. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please sub if you're new and leave a like. And this is the new Gift Cards to Friends glitch. So do this all you can. Like I said, uh, they usually don't pass things on weekends. And I know this is late Saturday night, so you're probably only going to get one or two days with this. It's solid. Um, but like I said, yeah, they're going to patch it either Monday or Tuesday for sure. Uh, usually they like patching it on Tuesdays, but you never know. They uh, might patch it on Monday. Anyways, peace out, guys. Please watch the video.